Hey guys, it's me and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Hello, hello. Bienvenue tout le monde. Bienvenue, bienvenue. Nom c'est Shaika Plaisir. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shaika Plaisir. And I know it's been a little while. I'm just trying to get my life together. And I'm just excited to be with you guys. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long time. I think it's been probably a month since I recorded a video and just so much is happening. I mean, school just started up and I'm just getting used to my new adjustments and this new season in my life. And I'm just grateful for everything that God has done these past few months. I mean, God is good and God is faithful and I'm just grateful. And I just want to talk to you guys about basically serving, what it means to serve and seasons and how those two correlate with each other. L'école fait commencer et m'a juste fait tout ça besoin fait pour capable gain succès avec ça et toute l'autre bagaille dans la vie moi ça fait un pile temps même la cunier <laughs> il voulait parler avec nos deux services à saison et qui genre aux deux connectés ensemble OK m'a dit nos expériences pas que me fait qui genre bon Dieu aider moi sans ça ça souhaiter que ça aide un autre monde cap garder moi là I hope that this will be helpful to you guys and I just want to open up with Ecclesiastes 3, first off. The verses that I want to open up with starts off with verse 1, and it says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So, to start off, I just want to share this. A lot of people see me on the stage. I feel like a lot of people see me leading, singing, and a lot of times people don't even know that that's not where I started. So I always knew I had the gift to sing since I was a child, since I was very young. I would sing and play around when I was three. My mom would notice, you know, she can kind of sing, but she probably thought, you know, it's just a little phase. Then after that, as I continued to get older, five, six, they're like, wait a minute, the voice is growing. <laughs> this is actually a talent. Um, talent but people do not know that although I had the gift to sing before I can actually sing on a stage there were seasons that I went through I went through seasons of being in band <laughs> I was in high school I was in band I went through seasons of leading children's ministry and that's when I was a kid and it would be like Bible study on Wednesdays and parents would come but there would be nowhere for the kids to be I used to lead Bible study for the kids and just make up you know basically go off the fly of what God put in my spirit at such a young age and you know of course sometimes the kids didn't take me serious because I was the same age as them but we won't speak about that I'm <laughs> But when I was younger, I also cleaned the church for like years and it was fun for me. We had something called Holy Sweat. Back in the day, those are like old, old, old days. I was always doing that, technically like cleaning, and I would be faithful, like I would come almost every Saturday. We would be so excited just to clean. Like my mom just knew, once my mom said it's time to clean, I was excited. First off, I like being clean here. But I was excited to clean the church. I was excited to be in Creativity Corner in elementary school. I was ex excited to be part of the drama team at my school. Um, I was excited to be in band. I was excited to do basketball for a little bit. I mean, I went through different things and those things taught me to be the person that I am today. Being in cleaning ministry, being in children's ministry, not always being in the spotlight, sometimes being behind the scenes, taught me to remain humble aside from what my mother taught me and the values and characteristics that I already have to cultivate that character even more those things taught me that 
I learned to be humble when I cleaned. I learned to be more humble when I cleaned. I learned to be um, understanding and compassionate when I dealt with kids. I learned to be compassionate with my siblings when they were born, even more nurturing when they came into my life. And those were all seasons. I went through seasons of being a sister, seasons of being a cleaner, seasons of being a kids leader, you know, all of those things, seasons of being an athlete, seasons of being a band, a band student. All of those things are cultivating me into the person that I am today. Tout bagay sa que m'te fe, l'em nettoyer l'église, l'em te enseigner ti moun yo na ministère enfant show, l'em te nan l'école mwen, m te joue comme un musicien, m te joue batterie dans l'école mwen, l'em te fe basketball, m te joue basket dans l'école mwen. Maman m'fe tout frem avec sœur yo, tout saison sa yo fem vini moun ke mi jodi a mte yon sœur ti frè m ak ti sœur mi yo mwen stil yon sœur pou yo of course men e yo te fèt sa montre m ki jan pou m gen compassion plus compassion ki jan pou m konprann moun plus ki jan pou m gen patience patience parce que si ou pa gen patience ou pa ka ou pa ka ou pa ka jere ti moun si pa gen patience men sa m vle di ou se se ke tout sezon sa yo fem vini moun ke mi jodi a so i'm saying this to tell you do not take the shortcut. Things can look as rough as it is now, and you think, oh my God, will I ever get to my spotlight? Will I ever get to the, the place that God wants me to be at? Yes, you will, but you've got to go through the seasons because if God just gives it to you like that, who knows the type of person that you could become. You could become someone who's prideful, too prideful and doesn't have no patience with anyone who thinks that everything is supposed to be handed to them. You could become someone who's entitled. So when you go through those seasons, it's rough. And it's called the breaking season, technically. Those seasons, it may seem rough and it may seem like, oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not doing what God has called me to do. But those are all the things that will lead you to continue to do what God has called you to do. Your purpose is connected to multiple callings. Now, si you don't have a season, 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 you don't have a season. I don't know who is going to be humble, I don't know who is going to be compassion, who is going to be patience, who is going to understand people, who is going to be patience with them, who is going to be patience with my friend Maxime, who is going to be patient with me, who is going to be patient with me, who is going to be patient with me, because the destiny is attached to the different things that God has done. Who is going to be patient with me, and who is going to be patient with me, who is going to be patient with me, or who is going to be patient with me, who is going to be patient with me. No! And the person that God wants us to be is people that are humble, people who have the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All of that, in order to become that person, you've got to go through some tests. You've got to go through some trials. And if you do not go through those tests and you just want the role, you're not going to be able to stay within that role. One thing that my mother told me growing up was that you can have talent. You can have all the talent in the world. You can have all the intelligence, the knowledge in the world. But if you do not have character, if you do not have character, you're not going to keep that place. You're not going to keep that role. You can have all the talents, all the gifts in the world, but without character, you lose it all. You know how many people are intelligent, you know how many people are so bright, but because of their attitude, they can't seem to keep a position or a role or even fame or whatever it is, simply because of character. And character is developed through those seasons. So to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. And I'm going to continue throughout the chapter where it says, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to love, a time of hate. Well, we're not trying to hate our neighbors, but you get what I mean. A time of war and a time of peace. Now, all of that, <laughs> it sounds rough. And it is rough sometimes. I mean, even right now, honestly guys, right now in the season that I'm in, at first I didn't understand it. I was like, God, this happened to my voice. I've been serving you for all these years. I thought I was doing this for you. Why did this happen to me? And God was just like, this needed to happen to you so that you could understand that it's time to move forward to the next thing that I've called you to do. And I'm like, wow. So God, let's go through all of this just to continue on to the next season. And he's like, yes, because if I didn't do that, who knows if you would have ever moved forward to the next thing I called you to. 
I'm just like, okay. At first it was tough. I mean, it was tough. I'm like, dang, my voice, will I ever get it back? All, am I not supposed to minister anymore? And God is like, no, <laughs> that is your calling. That is your number one calling. That is the number one thing that I've called you to do, to touch people with your voice, but not just your voice, but your character. To continue to be, be a vessel in my hands, whether it be with work, school, ministry, all of that related. And I'm just like, wow. I'm like, okay, did it have to be this rough? Yeah, it had to be because sometimes we're so comfortable at where we are and we're so comfortable that we become complacent and we forget that, hey, there's more. There's more that God wants to do. There's more in store for you. And I hope that this can be a testimony to someone out there that knows that you have to do more, that knows that you should be doing more, but you feel stuck. You gave up on your calling. No, everything plays a role into your purpose, into your purpose. So God is just like right now, as you're resting your voice, as you're taking care of your voice, as you're waiting to be rehabilitated, I'm going to work on these other areas. I'm going to work on your character some more. This needs a little tweaking. Your schooling needs a little tweaking. You need to finish school. You need to go back and, and do what you need to do. You need to do this at work. You need to be promoted. This and that. And God is just opening doors. And I'm just like, Lord, wow. All of this because I decided to follow you and obey your voice. The season may seem rough. But in the end, trust me, God will always prevail. Many are the plans of man, but the purpose and the will of God is what prevails. We have many plans in our heart. I was going to be about it at some point in time, but God also has his will and his purpose is what prevails at the end of the day. No matter how, blip by blip, God is going to take you there. Un pile fois, nous vraiment confortable dans ces sons que nous y a, que nous oublions comment durer les nous pour nous faire plus, pour nous capable venir be bon monde pour nous capable gain caractère pâle bon Dieu veut tester ou et gain de fois seul gens capable arriver dans niveau que bon Dieu relé ou c'est pour caractère brisé c'est pour passer moment difficile ça pour bon Dieu capable montrer ou que ça le relé té dans pied pour être un pour gain confiance dans voix là pour gain confiance dans ça le relé ou pour faire and i'm just grateful for it because sometimes you know it's hard <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's hard to obey what God calls you to do sometimes especially if you have people who are telling you no this is that da, 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 da. it's not what you're supposed to be doing or this is not what God has called you to do and stuff like that but once you stay near him and you draw near to him and you continue to follow his plan he'll make the provision not only will he, he will he guide you he will make the provision for you you don't have to worry about anything all you have to do is step out on faith like Peter did on that water. He kept his eyes focused on God. He kept his eyes focused on God. Why? Because the moment that you derail and you turn your eyes away from God, doubt starts to sink in. Worry starts to sink in. The naysayers start to sink in. No. And it's tough for us as humans, I know, because sometimes, especially for me, I was the type of person that, and I'm glad God is working on me in that sense, but I was so used to people pleasing. I was so used to, okay, I have to do this because so-and-so told me to. And you know, and when you have so many people speaking into your life and telling you what to do, you can lose yourself. You can lose hearing from God. And at the end of the day, you know who has to pay the price of not hearing God? You, because at the end of the day, that's your life. I'm not saying that you cannot listen to people and I'm not saying that there will not be people to confirm what God has told you or to say no what God has told you but at the same time God's voice has to prevail all of those there'll be some people that will confirm and it'll be the people that you least expect oh my gosh it'll be people that you least expect that will confirm it what God has already spoken into your life about but if you trust in him and you follow him and you're just like okay God I know this seems out of the ordinary but I'm gonna do it anyways, God will honor you 10 times more. And he will honor the fact that you obeyed him when it all looked <laughs> wrong. En pile fois, nous pas entrer dans porte que bon Dieu ouvre pour nous parce que nous peur. Et gien de bagay bon Dieu relé nous pour nous faire qui semble tant que li pas dans bagay que nous konn faire. Li pas dans programme que nous konn faire. Pas dans plan que ou te gien ou bien plan que ou te vle pour la vie. Mais Un peu le fois, bon Dieu voulait pour même appuyer sur lui, appuyer sur voix lui. Celle-là, besoin faire, c'est pour obéir. Et pourquoi? 
quoi que l'a guidé ou quoi que l'a fait provision pour parce que bon Dieu pas un Dieu qui a pas menti il pas dans partie qui avait il pas il pas pas menti ça le dit c'est vérité hein so, si bon Dieu montre un bagage pour faire prier sur lui modèle qui gens que le veut ou faire et quoi en tête ou quoi que bon Dieu pas instrument pour capable faire ça geste pour capable faire prier sur lui passer temps avec bon Dieu qui te guide et plan même s'il semble ton conscient bagage difficile ouais n'a pas ouais et même si moment semble ton pour non bon Dieu pas relé pour me faire ça on sent c'est ton pour gagner quelque monde qui fatigué et ou voulez jeter tout plan que bon Dieu te dit que l'a fait avec vous tout avancement que bon Dieu te promet ou vous sentez ton pour bagage pas vraiment fait comme ça et ou pas arriver dans canaan mais c'est pas vrai gain l'autre part que bon Dieu veut faire avec qu'a faire arriver dans canaan s'il te facile comme ça ou pas t'a comprendre caractère ou pas t'a comprendre ça lié pour venir un ou pas t'a comprendre qui ça le relé pour gain patience ou pas t'a bien fruit de l'esprit mais bon Dieu fait plein aux gens veulent faire parce que c'est comme ça la transformer caractère nous pour nous capable venir même genre avec lui things that come too easily i question for the most part things that come too easily i question honestly most of the things in life require hard work nothing comes easy especially your purpose you thought that that was going to come easy no and as a disclaimer i'm going to put this out there anyone that thinks that i have given up on my worship calling and what god has called me to do when it comes to singing and ministry is mistaken i'm just following the master and i know that in the end he'll see me through and i trust that wherever he takes me and continues to take me that his name will be glorified above all else not me not my plans not who i am but he will be glorified at the end of the day god is so strategic to the point where no one else can get the glory but him no one else can get the glory but him and if he has to derail your plans and derail whatever plans other people has so that he can get the glory above Everyone else he will. Les qui te avec Paul ça. Pas peur pour servir na ti bagayo. Parce que ti bagayo mais non non gros bagayo. Don't be afraid to serve in the small things because the small things lead to the big things. All right? I love you guys and this is just my word that I wanted to share with you guys and it's been on my heart for weeks now. I finally took my time and just wanted to encourage someone out there and just to let you know that you are loved and that God's not through with you and your testimony yet. All right. Women who appeal. Peace. <laughs>